I'm not a boat person, <laughs> unfortunately. You, you don't want me on that boat because you have to take care of me because I get <laughs> sick, so. <laughs>So will green economies become more closed due to protectionist measures, or is there still a role for international trade in advancing the green transformation? Okay, so cutting emissions in the industrial sector is key to the global green transition. It accounts for nearly a quarter of global greenhouse gas emissions. So any efforts to step up the pace of decarbonization will actually have positive effects, not just domestically, but for the whole planet. In this context, Industrial plans from the US and the EU are a step in the right direction, even though they seem protectionist and strategies for de-risking. But that doesn't mean the end of international trade. Ever wondered where the materials for solar panels or wind turbines come from? The green economy has their own dependencies, just like fossil fuels. So being completely independent in today's world is just elusive even impossible. As we cannot nationalize our value chains, we should instead focus on managing them and using them to green our future. International trade in low carbon technologies is crucial for fighting climate change. We must thus rapidly develop, deploy and spread green goods and technologies. International trade, open markets and green economies go hand in hand. So by embracing cooperation and specialization, we can build a sustainable future and a greener world.